special video lesson on what to do when you get a harp that is so horribly out of tune you don't know what to do with it even if you know how to tune a harp now first of all congratulations because if you have a harp that is horribly out of tune it means that you have just purchased your first harp or you are coming back to playing harp after quitting it for a while and I'm very happy for you. So, why would the harp be so out of tune? Harps don't go out of tune that easily. Of course, they are not as stable as a piano, but they are quite stable instruments. So what happened? First of all, the harp could have been shipped. During shipping, it is common sense to lower the tension of the strings so that any drastic changes in temperature or humidity during the shipment would not affect the wood and would protect the strings from breaking. Or the harp could have been left without being played for a long time and you could have just purchased a second hand or it can be your harp that you're getting back to and giving some love again. Here I have a harp that hasn't been played in many years. And let's see how it sounds. The ideal thing to do here would be to give it a complete change of strings, including the wires. It will make a huge difference in the sound of the harp. But I know that this is not always affordable or possible for you and you have to make do with what you have. So we are not going to replace the strings here. I only replace the missing ones and we are going to try and make uh, sure the ones that we have last as long as they can without breaking because we are on a tight budget. This is a rental for students. So what to do? If I suddenly tune this harp very quickly I may end up breaking more strings and uh, this harp is not that much uh, out of tune but if it was completely uh, in a much lower tension I could also be damaging the wood and the wood has to stay in a relatively stable tension and the strings on the harp are quite uh, strong as you can feel if you're a harpist and this is what we call a high tension harp and the tension on a standard concert pedal harp is set to total around one ton of weight for the total of all the strings as this is the tension that is um, placed on the soundboard so that is very heavy. You may not have the same problem if you're playing a long tension harp. So if this harp was missing so many strings and was so out of tune, if I suddenly put all the strings and if I suddenly and quickly tune it, I might really damage the wood and I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is bring the harp back to the tension. It should be slowly. Now, this harp is not that much out of tune, so I'm not going to be that slow. Ideally, if your harp is super out of tune, you should just start by just turn a little bit, next one, a little bit, a little bit, all the way up a tiny bit. Start again from the bottom, all the way up, just a tiny bit. So, let's tune this harp. One thing I would like to add here, if you're not a musician, you might feel so lost that you don't know where to start because the harp is so out of tune and you have no point of reference. In that case, what I do is just, um, you can just start, first of all, bring the harp up to tension a little bit, so they're approximately in the right range. Uh, and in the right tension while all being very much out of tune. 
And now what you can do is just find one anchor point. And a smart place to start that could be uh, just middle C. Do you have any other instruments in your home? Play middle C there, on a keyboard, on a guitar. You don't have anything, okay. Play it on your tuner. You don't have a tuner, install an app on your phone. Just play back middle C. And I think that it is good to do this little bit by ear at first because if the harp is so out of tune and you don't have any point of reference you may just end up messing it up more and even if you're not a musician I would advise you to trust your ears to bring it approximately to that pitch and then use your tuner because if uh, the C is so out of tune that it has become uh, the C one octave below, then your tuner might show you that you already tuned it perfectly to C, but you actually tuned it to the C one octave below. So, and this is only for the cases, of course, where the harp is out of tune, or as I said, when uh, you put a brand new string, you can do this. So bring it approximately to that pitch by ear and then use your tuner. And don't be scared to do things by ear, even if you're not a musician. You will learn. Your ear will, de will develop and you will be able to tune by ear eventually. So I'm just tuning the heart now. And I'm using an electronic tuner. Okay, our harp is in tune, well, relatively, because we will have to tune it several times over a few days. Um, usually in a couple of weeks, the tuning will settle, so the harp will not go out of tune so easily. Once a harp is settled in the tuning, then it will not uh, go out of tune. If you have a relatively stable environment, you can get away with tuning it just once a week.